Hey guys, just showing off the Grizzly G0602 spindle encoder setup that I made up for my lathe here. And this is to be used with the Centroid Acorn CNC controller. And um, this was running, this lathe was running with the BD Tools CNC conversion kit and running Mach 3 turn with a C11G breakout board and an Ethernet smooth stepper but also running the open loop stepper motors. So I've switched to closed loop stepper motors. I made some mechanical updates to the BD Tools kit for the X-axis, which are going to take out some of the slop. And I'll go over that in another video. It's a great kit. The only complaint I had is I actually was having belt slip issues on the X-axis. So um, if I had the cross slide set up tight enough where there wasn't any flex it would actually cause the belt to slip even though I could turn the back side of the ball screw by hand still fairly easily um, so I played around with changing both pulleys out I um, ended up changing the belt try to get a little bit shorter belt and it took care of a lot of the issues but I still wasn't happy with how thin that belt setup was, so I'll give you a comparison of what I did there shortly. But circling back, we've got uh, gears, three gears, plastic gears, all same size, 6 millimeter bore from McMaster. The first one I uh, used my CNC router, and I opened it up to fit the spindle pulley, and then I made up some plastic spacers, which are going to be replaced by metal spacers. Then these brackets are 3D printed. Uh, this one right here has been bored for a brass bushing and then the bolt goes into a lock nut which is glued into the back of this. So that one freewheels as an idler and then we made up the bracket for the Onron encoder. So the part number on that E6B2CWZ1X and this is the 2000 pulse per revolution model. So I've tested the encoder with the box. It was reading it. Everything was wired up fine. So now that I've got it physically installed, we're going to be wrapping up this installation very, very shortly. So again, the full enclosure. It's kind of a mess, but everything's coming together. I'm working out a way cover to cover the lathe bed here. And I'm going to cut the bottom of this table out and have a giant chip and coolant pan with a separating screen so I can just wheel the card out, pull out the screen with the chips, the coolant stays in the bottom with the pump, and then that should be all done. So it's a mess right now, but um, probably in the next week this thing is going to be wrapped up.